Hey everybody, it's Chris with 1441 Engraving. Um, so a friend of mine was given a tomahawk from uh, myself and another friend. Um, it's a long story. He, ended up, he, he teaches tomahawk throwing. And uh, so we figured, you know what, let's, let's give him a cool tomahawk. So uh, we've got this tomahawk, but it's like on an axe handle. It's, it's this odd shape and an odd object that I want to engrave for him. Uh, so I gave it to him and he goes, man, this is awesome. He loved it. And he's like, well, how do I, what do I, what am I going to put on it? And I was like, it's up to you, man. You tell me what you want to put on it. And he goes, well, he goes, let me think about it. So the other day I get an email uh, and he says, hey, he goes, I think I want to put my family crest on the tomahawk. And I'm like, man, that, that's a great idea, you know? Um, so send me a picture of it and I'll see if I can get it done. So, um, he sends me this picture of a tomahawk. And uh, so having said all that, uh, I was like, well, you know, I don't know if I can, I can redo this just from the picture. A lot of times I can get graphics out of the picture and use them uh, for engravings. Couldn't do it this time. So basically what I did, and uh, I'm going to pause the video here and then pick up here in a second. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Okay, so here's the um, here's the picture that he sent me, and as you can see, it's really kind of ridge jagged around the edges. That's really a rough uh, little graphic, and I couldn't really pull it out and abstract it for the use for the laser. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to draw it out. Uh, so I did do that. Um, it's a cool piece of wood that he did, uh, and he hand burnt this, and apparently he hung this. Actually, I don't know where he hung it, but he's hanging it somewhere, as you can see. So um, what I did was I took this picture here and I just drew it using my program. And that is what I came up with. So it's a pretty good rendering. Uh, basically, it's really smooth lines. It's not rough uh, around the edges. And it's pretty detailed. I mean, not detailed, but it's smooth. Uh, so I asked him, I said, look, I said, do you want it smooth or do you want it rough like your picture? And basically he said, no, no, I want it. I want it any way you think looks good. And I said, well, it's not up to me. It's up to you. And you tell me. And uh, as you can see, that's pretty rough. And uh, he said, no, he said, you know what? I really like it uh, the way you did it. Just keep it smooth and put that on the, on the tomahawk. So I said, all right, very good. So uh, so I took that, I brought it over to my uh, laser program, and here it is here. And it's at an angle just because of the way uh, the tomahawk is laying on the laser. So I, if I bring it over, it's kind of a cool piece. There's the head, or the head, I don't know. You guys tell me what it's called. <laughs> there it is. So there's your piece of leather, uh, nice hand-stitched leather. Uh, the person who created it did a really nice job. Uh, and a nice axe handle. It's not really a throwing tomahawk, uh, although it probably should be. Uh, but it's a nice long axe handle that he aged really nicely. Uh, really came out nice. Really, really proud of what he did there. So, and then the, the, the head itself he aged and weathered uh, to make it look a little older. Uh, he did a great job, man. Really good job. All right, so what is it going to take to laser this sucker, right? Um, basically, I'm, you can see I have uh, little wedges here and there uh, and in the back. And that's, that's holding it straight. It's holding it level. Uh, but it's not exactly level. So I'm going to need two hands here. So I'm going to put you on pause. And then when I come back, you're going to see the leveling process. All right, so for the leveling, leveling process, I just used a little level like this. And uh, basically, I'm going to put that on here and make sure that this is even on the, on the metal. A lot of times you can get too far up to the hilt there, and you can see the space. And that's going to throw the level off. So you don't want that. You want just like that. So there's no space here uh, in its level. Uh, but you can see it's it's quite not quite level. Uh, let me see if I can't zoom in on that. Yeah, so it's not quite level here. So if I go over here, you can see some play, and it'll move that bubble just a little bit. And that's really where I want it. Uh, having said that, uh, I'm going to go this way, 
and if I can swing over there, you can kind of see it. Uh, again, if I do this, it's bringing that, it's bringing it nice and level that way as well. So make sure it's level on both accounts. But how do I hold that sucker down? Um, so the easiest way to do that is put a little weight on it. I've got a Zippo here. It's got a little weight. I put it on there. Whoops, took this off. But I put that off there. You can see. Can you see? Here it is. It's pretty level, right? Uh, let's do it this way. It's in between. It's as far down as it's going to go. But it's in between the bubbles, and I'm happy with that, actually. So what I'm going to do is I have to figure out a way to secure this because it's it's just flopping, and it's round here, and there's no way to really hold that on there. I don't want it slipping off uh, while it's engraving. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is find a way. Sorry, guys. Just moving the camera here. Um, oh, for goodness sake. I'm going to pause it and fix the camera. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I gotta try to figure it out, figure out how to put this on that and secure it so it doesn't move around, it's not shaky. Uh, when the fume extractor turns on, sometimes it pulls things. Uh, this is pretty heavy, but it probably won't, but it might pull this, because this isn't exactly that heavy. So I need to secure that on there. So all I do is take a little piece of paint, painter's tape. Just do that. Put that on there. Guess what? That ain't going anywhere now. And let's check the level. That looks good. That looks even better than before. I mean, that looks fantastic. Look at that. So great. I'm very happy with that. All right, guys. So let's take this off. And now I'm going to display my image so that I can try to line it up the best I can. Um, I've already kind of pre-aligned pre it, uh, but I did move it a little bit. So again, you gotta get you gotta get it correct. Now, other thing is you gotta check your focal distance. Your focal distance is should be the last thing you do just before lining that sucker up. Um, and it's gonna be the focal different. People ask me all the time, well, what's your settings? What's what's your power settings? Uh, and so forth. And honestly, it's different for every machine, especially that focal distance here. So it's gonna be different. Uh, so Having said that, I can't really answer specifics with regard to focal distances and so forth, but uh, that's something that you guys have to determine on your on your machine. And maybe I'll make a video uh, later on on how to determine your focal distance on your laser. That might be a good video. All right, guys, so as you can see the red here, it's displaying on here. I'm trying to get it even between that edge, this edge, and and right where the blade starts. And I think I need to go that way just a little bit. So I'm just moving it with my keyboard, trying to get it as even as I can. And that looks really good, guys. That looks really good. So let's, let's engrave this sucker, shall we? So I'm, it's going to get a little loud. I'm going to turn, um, turn my extractor off, on, excuse me. And let's engrave this thing.
side. So as you can see, here's the engraving. Now, it's deep enough to where we want it, but you still have those lines. Um, still have those lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple cleanup passes. So we're just going to try to clean that up, uh, which are fairly quick here. So we'll do that real quick. So there you have it. There's the actual engraving. I'm going to see if I can't bring you around here a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm going to take this off. Put that back. Throw that out. And uh, when I take this off, you, it's, as you saw in the video, it's pretty dusty. So, um, so I'm going to just clean this up. So I'll bring you back up. Sorry guys, this isn't the best holder for a camera, but uh, so there you have it. It's pretty big. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's like a little uh, like sentry. Uh, I don't even know what you call it, but um, anyway. So let's get the dust off of it. Uh, let's see if I can't do this while you guys can see. have it that's a cool little engraving so and as you saw it wasn't too deep but deep enough that it's not going to scratch off all right i didn't go i didn't go super deep where you could color fill it um that's an option right so if you really want to go deep it you would just keep engraving keep engraving keep engraving until it's deep enough you have that depth of engraving versus the actual substrate uh to actually color fill it and you could put color in there but do you need it look at that i mean that that looks cool i don't need to uh, color fill that at all so heck yeah so anyways there you have it guys um i'm just probably going to add a little bit of oil uh to the blade uh let's do that why not where's my oil there it is so i'm just going to add a little oil here and the oil i use is just this Lucas Gun Oil, Extreme Duty, and uh, the reason why I like it, it does, it's not, it's not so loose where it just keeps running off the material. Uh, it's really nice and thick, and I'll just rub that in just a little bit into the engraving. There you go, and. Trying to do things with one hand. It's not all that easy. <laughs> so, uh, come on. All right, just trying to get a shop towel here. And we'll just get the excess off. And that's it. That is it. All right, super cool. All right, guys, uh, like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, I don't do them too often. Um, I try to, but sometimes you just get so busy you can't you can't get stuff done so um next video might be that right there that dang thing that's cool that's going to be a cool engraving so until that until next time guys thank you for watching take care